What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. But honestly, the game's been kinda dead for quite some time now, but that's to be expected after a major celebration like the one that we just got. But don't worry guys, cause things are about to get heated once again. We just got a ton of news about upcoming summons and events on Global, so why don't we go through it together in today's video. Let's kick things off with the EZA Physical Full Power Freeze event, which according to iSeriously is starting on October 9th. And this is going to be great news for a lot of you, especially newer players. It's one of the easiest Dokkan Fest EZAs by far, because the category that's super effective against him is the Namek Saga category, which means that a free-to-play Ginyu Force team will be able to get you through level 30 with no issues. Along with the event, we should also be getting an easy A Frieza banner, which will feature full power Frieza, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. At least that's what the JP banner featured, and the global banner should be pretty similar. We will also be getting a separate ticket banner, everyone should be able to get some tickets through missions, and the rest will probably be locked behind some Pilafs Trove Packs, which I would advise most people to stay the F away from. Next up, and most people should already know about this, we're getting the physical Android 17 banner, which is dropping tomorrow, and it's bringing along with it the brand new STR Android 21 and Tech Android 16. And in addition, we're also getting a Dragon Ball Fighters story event. There will be a farmable free-to-play int Android 21, and also a total of 21 farmable free to play dragon stones when you clear all the stages and missions. Moving along, we have a few returning events, including Tech Bulma, who hasn't been in the game in a very long time. She's actually a fantastic tank for Super Tech. In fact, this girl helped me clear Super Battle Road, and she's also great for events that allow only drop characters. So if you don't have her yet, I would highly recommend that you farm her up, get her to rainbow status, and you won't regret it. We should also see the return of the AoE Int Raditz event, who is amazing for World Tournament if you don't have LR Broly or Easy A Broly. So if you're one of those people, then make sure you farm him up as well. And speaking of World Tournament, we should be getting another one on Global within the next week or two. It's not officially confirmed yet, but the arrival of the Raditz event typically precedes a World Tournament. In addition, JP just had their World Tournament officially announced, so Global shouldn't be too far off as well. Last but not least, we got some in-game news about two characters that were removed from the Representatives of Universe 7 category. They were Physical Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. If you owned either of these characters, then you got one stone as compensation. Now, there aren't any concrete details as to why this happened, but you know what? I wouldn't say this is a huge loss considering these guys weren't exactly considered optimal on the team, but since the category is already so limited, it's still a loss. So that's gonna do it for today's news update. Hope you guys found the video useful or at the very least interesting. And let me know in the comments down below what you're the most excited for. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you'll like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all my latest content. But that's all from me. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.